Hey everyone, I am in Detroit, Michigan right now and I am experiencing their awesome local food scene. In partnership with Undeniably Dairy, I'll show you what I mean. I've got a couple of special guests to introduce you to today. Meet Allison and Gwen, the two women who founded Coriander Kitchen and Farm. It's both an urban farm and a catering company. I'm the farmer. And I'm the cook. Which makes total sense when you think about it. They grow the food that they then cook for their customers. It makes sense for a farm and for a kitchen operation to work so closely together. So both elements are inspired by each other. It's a sustainable move. It allows for us to take the excess that we have at the farm and direct it to our prepared food entity, which then transforms it into beautiful, delicious food that can still be enjoyed. Gwen and I started dreaming about this before we could even imagine what has happened in the last five years. I think Detroiters need better, healthy, affordable food options. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? That is so delicious. What I love most is being able to take really beautiful ingredients and turn them into beautiful food. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Now let's go back to the kitchen with them. All right, Katie, let's go make something. Today, they're gonna show us how to make yogurt at home. All you need is one quart of whole cow's milk and a fourth cup of yogurt, either store-bought or already made. Warm whole milk to just under 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Stir it as it warms up. So typically, I'm the one in the garden. I'm not the one making the creative dish, but because I do make yogurt regularly, I'm happy to be here. They are committed yogurt eaters. <laughs> <laughs> you can use it for so many things. That's the beauty of yogurt. It can be turned into a, a, a sweet treat at the end of your evening by adding fruit and maple syrup or a little bit of honey. I mean, I put it as a condiment on almost everything I eat. It's great on eggs, it's great on sauteed greens. And who doesn't love a smoothie bowl? I'll be showing you my favorite later this video. Dairy is amazing. The power of dairy is real. So back to our milk, which we're heating up to about 200 degrees. There we go, 195, 197. Remove from the heat and let cool until it hits 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Put some more milk in with the half cup of yogurt, then dump that combo in with the rest of your milk. Add the milk and yogurt combination to your sterilized mason jars. There we go. Secure the lids on the jars. Last step, we want to keep this at a somewhat constant temperature for four to six hours. So fill a Dutch oven with warm water and place the jars in that. We're gonna set these guys in here. Preheat the oven to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, then turn it off and flip on the oven light. When I think about it, milk is the foundation for all the dairy foods I love. Right. Here we go, moment of truth. It looks great. Good job, Gwen and Allie, yogurt gurus. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'm so stoked to know how to make yogurt. Katie, you want to take some of this yogurt to go? Heck yeah! It's our gift to you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Of course. Bye. Enjoy. I had no idea how easy it is to make yogurt at home. Let's see what else I can do with it. I'm going to make a smoothie bowl with our homemade yogurt. You can also just purchase yogurt from the store if you're tight on time. Banana, frozen banana offers the best consistency. Nut butter, and for a fun topping, let's go with flax seeds. You can adjust the quantities of each ingredient, but I like one frozen banana with one cup of yogurt and a half cup of nut butter. So now we just blend together everything but the flax seeds. Pour it into a bowl and have fun with the flax seeds. Make a creative design. I call it my energizing smoothie because I usually have it in the mornings first thing to like give me a kick in the butt. And a smoothie is a simple way to get nutrition from dairy. Ready to tackle the day. Alternatively, I also like to dip apple slices in it or sprinkle some fresh raspberries on top. As always, keep it quirky. See you next time.